Hi everybody, I'm Miss Lynn from the Great Neck Area Library. I'm your Youth and Family Services Librarian and I'm here today to do Just Twos with you. If you can stop the video in just a minute, I'm going to give you a suggestion of something that we're going to use later on. You can go and find something in your house. We're going to use a scarf. You can use a dish towel. Um, you can use any small piece of fabric. You could use a handkerchief. You could even use a Kleenex or a paper towel if you'd like. But if you want to pause this video and go find something to use, then start back whenever you're ready to start. Welcome back. I hope you got your scarf. Let's get started. Let's warm up our bodies with our hello song. We're going to nod our heads. We're going to shrug our shoulders. We're going to touch our nose. We're going to rub our tummies. Are you ready? Okay, sing with me. Well, hello everybody. Can you clap your hands? Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Well, hello everybody. Can you clap your hands? Clap your hands. Hello everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Hello everybody. Can you nod your head? Nod your head. Nod your head. Well, hello everybody. Can you nod your head? Nod your head. Hello everybody, can you shrug your shoulders? Shrug your shoulders, shrug your shoulders. Well, hello everybody, can you shrug your shoulders? Shrug your shoulders. Now your tummy. Hello everybody, can you rub your tummy? Rub your tummy, rub your tummy. Well, hello everybody, can you rub your tummy? Rub your tummy. Good job! I feel warmed up, do you? Great! I'm coming to you from outside at Lynn Haven Park across the street from the Great Neck Library. It's so beautiful out here today. Today's support for early literacy is print motivation. And print motivation is kids wanting to read. Um, we do a lot of things to help kids want to learn to read. And one of the things that you can do is to read yourself, is to set a good example. When they see you reading, reading becomes an important thing that they want to do as well. I have something that I use when I read and it's called a letter. Everybody reads letters. When you read a letter, you know that the letter has a sound. And this letter, even though we don't know what it is yet, has its own sound. Let's see if we can figure out what this letter is. This letter has a line this way, this way, and this way. This letter is an F. It's an F. And you make the sound of the letter when you say its name. F. F. When you put your lip on the bottom of your teeth and you blow, you make this sound that the letter F has. This letter F is red. I really like this F. Hmm, it's really pretty. I know a song that has the letters, all the letters that we read in it in English. It is called the alphabet song, the ABC song. Do you know it? Can you sing it with me? When we sing it and I hear our letter F, I'm gonna pick it up and wave it. Okay, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Great! Oh, I'm so glad you sang with me. That's a song that's easy to sing for me. When I hear it, I just have to sing it. And it has our letter F. You know what else has our letter F? The book that I'm gonna read today. Let me grab it. I love this book. It has an F. Do you see the F? It's called Hooray for Fish. And it's by Lucy Cousins. Lucy Cousins is the author that wrote the book and also the illustrator that made the beautiful pictures. Parents, I chose this picture because I like that it's very colorful. I think it's something that helps kids want to pick up a book that helps their print motivation. Hooray for fish. Ooh, look at that beautiful picture. All kinds of things from under the sea. Hooray for fish by Lucy Cousins. 
Hello, I am Little Fish, swimming in the sea. I have lots of fishy friends. Come along with me. Let's swim along through the book with our little fish friend. <gasps> oh, hello, hello, hello fish. This is a red fish, a blue fish, and our yellow fish. And here's our little fish saying hello. Let's swim along some more. <gasps> Ooh, hello spotty fish. Do you see the spotty fish? He's got lots and lots of spots on him. Hello, spotty fish. Stripey fish. Look at our stripey fish. Oh, there's a happy fish. Look at his smile. Do you smile when you're happy? This is a happy fish. Ooh, what about this fish? Does he look very happy? No, he doesn't. Gripey fish. I think he's complaining. He's gripey fish. Ooh, one, two, three. There are three fish. Ooh, hello, Ella fish and Shelly fish. Do you see this fish's shell? It's a spiral. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's a special spiral called a nautilus. Ooh, hello, hairy fish. That fish looks like he's got funny hair. I like that. Ooh, and scary fish. Look at his sharp teeth. I bet he is scary to a teeny tiny little fish like that. Ooh, it's an eye fish. Does it look like your eye? And a shy fish. Do you see the shy fish? He's hiding. And a fly fish. It looks like he's flying through the water. Ooh. And sky fish. That fish has clouds on them. Do you think there are really fish that have cloud patterns on them? I hope so, because that's pretty. Oh, hello, twin fin fin fish. These fish look just alike. Do you know any twins? Sometimes twins look alike and sometimes they don't. Ooh, curly whirly. And twisty twirly. This fish knows a lot of fish in the ocean. Ooh, upside down. Look at that upside down fish. Ooh, and round and round. Even littler fish are swimming round and round our little fish. So many friends, so many fish. Splash, splash, splish. But where's the one that I love the best, even more than all the rest? Who do you think that might be? Who do you think Little Fish loves more than anybody else? Oh, hello, Mom. Hello, Little Fish. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Hooray for fish. And look at all of those fish that Lucy Cousins drew from her imagination. I see a lot of fish from the book. I see the upside down fish and I see the number three fish. Do you see some fish that you recognize? And that's the end of our book. Hooray for fish by Lucy Cousins. You guys did a great job listening to our fish book that starts with F. All right, we're gonna do a little exercise. We're going to do this skill right here. This is called hand rolling. You take your hands, you make little balls with your hands and you roll them around. And we're gonna do some opposites, okay? We're gonna start off slow. And then what is the opposite of slow? You'll find out when we sing our song. Here we go. Roll, roll, roll your hands as slow as slow can be. Do it now, let me see. Do it now with me. And the opposite is fast. All right, see if you can roll fast. Roll, roll, roll your hands fast as fast can be. Do it now, let me see. Do it now with me. Good job. We're going to do our hands another opposite with our hands. Can you clap? I know you can because we did it at the beginning. Can you clap loud? 
Put your, oh, listen to this, it's very loud. Oh, that's a loud sound. Can you clap your hands and clap them loud? Clap, clap, clap your hands as loud as loud can be. Do it now, let me see, do it now with me. Did you clap them really loud? Let's try it one more time really loud. Oh, that was really, really loud. Okay, let's do the opposite. It's quiet. Let's do it quietly, okay? We're gonna tap, 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 tap your hands as quiet as can be. Do it now, let me see. Do it now with me. That was so quiet, I almost couldn't even hear it. Good job. It's time to get your scarf. I have my scarf. I'm gonna take my scarf and if you have something that's small enough, you could put it in your hand and cover it all the way up. But if you have something big like a towel, you might need to put it in your arms and cover it up, okay? So put your towel or your scarf down really small. And now, here we go. Jack in the box, sit so still. Will he come out? Yes, he will! Did you let him come out? Oh, fun. Let's go try it one more time. Here we go. Jack in the box, sit so still. Will he come out? Yes, he will! Good job. Let's do it like we have a big towel. Jack in the box, sit so still. Will he come out? Yes, he will! Oh, I love doing that with my scarf. We're gonna sing one more song with our scarves. All right. We're gonna do some more opposites. We're gonna wave our scarf. Wave your scarf up and down, up and down, up and down. Wave your scarf up and down, wave your scarf up and down. Now we're gonna do it left and right. Here we go. Wave your scarf left and right, left and right, left and right. Wave your scarf left and right. Wave your scarf. Good. Left and right are opposites. Now we're gonna do just one for fun. We're gonna do it around and around. Can you wave it around and around? I'm gonna catch mine in the middle. Here we go. Wave your scarf round and round, round and round. Round and round, wave your scarf. Round and round, wave your scarf. Good job. All right, I have so much fun with my scarf. Did I tell you about what color my scarf was? Do you know what color my scarf is? What color does it look like to you? To me, it looks like it's green. It's very shiny in the sunlight. At this age, it's really important, caregivers, to have books everywhere. Take some, put them in the back of the seat of the car, leave some at the breakfast table. You never know whenever you can take 10 minutes out and read a story because reading it with your child is one of the best things that you could do to promote their early literacy skills. All right, you guys, I'm so glad you joined us today. We're going to do one last rhyme. It's our tickle the clouds rhyme, and it's the way we say goodbye at just twos. Here we go. Tickle the clouds. Tickle your toes. Turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low. Reach up high. Story time's over, so let's wave bye-bye. Bye-bye, friends. Hope to see you at the library.